Now it's time to set up our Drupal site. Once you've got to this point and you've installed everything, it's time to set it up. You notice that the first thing it tells you is to create the first account. If you went through the cPanel and Fantastico, you've already done that. If not, then you have to set it up as we need to if we set it up manually, which we see here. We all, we've set up two different Drupal sites, one that we did manually and one that we did through the cPanel and Fantastico. So this is the manual one. So just create a new account and we'll just call this admin and create the account. And there we go. And then we can put some additional stuff in here, like we need to give us a password. status is active. We can put a signature in here if we want and every time we make a post a signature would appear. It's a good promotional tool. And then you should set your time zone. And then submit. Now the next thing we want to do is go to administer. and then user management. And you notice that we have anonymous users having certain permissions and authenticated users having certain permissions. We also want to make roles for the admin. So we'll create a new role called admin. We'll add the role. And then we need to edit the permissions. Then what we want to do is check all of the boxes. Give it permission, the admin role, permission to do everything that can be done in Drupal. It's a lot of boxes. and then save permissions. Now what you want to do is go to user management, to users, and then you want to set the role to admin. Click edit, and then click the role as admin, and then submit. You'll now see that under role we have admin. The roles actually allow us to set up customized user profiles so that we can give certain users different permissions. For instance, if we wanted one of our users to be able to edit content and other most other users not to, we would just set a role and allow that one user or a group of users to do those extra tasks. The next thing we want to do is set up some of our site configuration rules. So along the side here under Administer, go to Site Configuration. And there are a few things we want to do here right away. Clean URLs allow your URLs to be more search engine friendly and look better. Now you can go in here and first thing you need to do is make sure that your clean URLs work. To do that, just click over here and then it'll give you a message that says whether they were successfully tested or not. And it says here that you have successfully demonstrated that clean URLs work on your server. So you can now enable them and save the configuration. Next, go into date and time. 
and then here you want to set your time zone for the site. And these are your Greenwich Mean Time minus six is where I happen to be. Then you can give it the form you want your dates to appear in and time. So you can pick one of those that you like. You have the short date format, the medium date, and the long date format. First day of the week, you set that the way you like it, and then save configuration. Next, you should set your error reporting. If somebody were to key in the wrong word or the wrong URL on your site, they would get a 404, a 404 error that's not found or a 403 access denied. So you want to redirect them and automatically it should come up to redirect them to your home page. If you want to direct them to a different page or somewhere else, you can just set that in here. And then whether you want to write the errors to the log or not, how long you want the log to be saved for, and then save those settings. Now let's go to the next option, which is file system. And you'll see in here that the files that it needs to use do not exist. So we're going to have to actually go and set these directories up. It's telling us that the directory files does not exist and the directory files slash temp does not exist. So we need to go to our C panel and then file manager, public underscore HTML, which is where all of our web documents go. And then we called it Drupal 2. I'll go inside there. Now I need to create two folders, one called files. So we just create a new folder. And over on the right here, just call it files. And then click on that folder name. And we need to change the permissions to 777. and then go inside files. Now I need to create a folder in here called TMP. And then click on that folder name and then change the permissions to 777, which is all the boxes clicked. And there we go. Now, if we re-click on file system, it's now finds the files that it needs. And then how we want to download files, whether it's through the HTTP server or files are transferred by Drupal. You can pick either way you want those to work. If you made any changes there, click Save Configuration. Now, the image toolkit, currently it will just use the default PHP built-in library, and that's fine. There's really nothing you need to change there. Input format. What you want to do is change this to full HTML. You can have some problems displaying images, and there's some other problems that might come along later. So make sure you just set this to full HTML and set the defaults. Performance. Here you can turn on some caching, some caching ability. So I'll turn it on to normal here. And that's all you really need to set there. site information. This is your global site information and you want to give your site a name here. Now again this should be a keyword rich site name so if you set it in a directory called dog training or German Shepherd dog training you should also name this German Shepherd dog training. And just to show you we will actually use that.
an email address. You can put a slogan here if you want. And make this keyword rich again. This will appear in the title bar. mission statement here if you want. And then you can have a footer message which will appear at the bottom of the page. You can give the name of an anonymous user. For instance, if there's a bunch of people on your page that aren't signed on, you need to give them uh, a name and they will be called anonymous. You could just change that to guest or whatever you like. Don't touch this. This is the default front page. We can set that later, but for now just leave it as is and save the configuration. And you'll see that it's taken our German Shepherd dog training and put it up here at the top. And down here at the bottom, it put German Shepherd Dog Training, which is what we put in the footer message. And just to show you, change that to footer. And save. And then it says German Shepherd Dog Training Footer. So it's another chance for you to get some keywords into your site. Site maintenance. This is just if your site is online or offline. And if you're taking your site offline for some reason, you can just put a site offline message down here.